So Radha was saying just before Satsang started that suddenly some happiness was coming and the mind was coming and saying, how can you be happy? The ego is back. <laughs> the ego is back means what? It's just another thought. <coughs> Just like getting clearer, like even before there was never any ego, like I don't know, it feels, it's like there's a lot more thoughts than probably a few months back. <laughs> and really the ego is never there as such, never ever there. But it's trying to give me us that you are attaching more to thoughts or so let's start with not attaching to this thought. Yeah. I exactly don't know what I have to say. <laughs> I could be in the mind for quite a while and it feels like Something wants to be there, and it's it's not nice, but and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, because the ego never existed, it's really never there. <laughs> it's never there. It's never, it's never there. there. It's never there. But sometimes so, I feel like I'm operating from identifying from a thought. And it's happening. Okay, let's look at this together. What is the ego? The ego is having the sense of a personal existence. Yeah. And the sense of having a personal existence is not possible without buying into a thought or a concept of myself. But even when the concept is bought, doesn't mean that the ego actually comes into existence. It's very clear. Is it? That's very clear, very good. So, just because I'm believing myself to be a cat, doesn't make me a cat. So now, if belief comes back to all the cat thoughts, can you actually become a cat? You can't. You see? So it is the mind itself, thoughts themselves, saying, what are you so happy about? You're a cat again. Yeah, it's that actually, that not possible? I see that's not possible. See that I don't like, there is this I that doesn't like being identified. Yes, okay, so which I is that? <laughs> that's what I've been trying to find, Father, because this one I cannot really find. But there is a big problem identifying with the one that doesn't like behaving from the ego. And it itself is kind of getting into a loop. You, you see what I'm saying? Yes. yes. <laughs> the person that doesn't want the person. Exactly. I'm not able to get out of that. You're out of it. <laughs> now you're out of it. Now you're out of it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> then I keep checking now, 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 now. It becomes like a non-stop all throughout the day. It's not natural. It's <laughs> I'm not complaining, but this know, is what I, I see, Father, and yeah. then, um, then but there are really like moments when I check, like you say, with integrity, and then I see that nobody else is here, yes. and I see that all this heart wants is to be in truth, like, you know, to live as truth, and then, and then when I'm about running throughout the day, then the, it's like, again, the whole burden of oh you're identifying this 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 identity comes back, but okay. it's very clear I don't the, want to identify. Who does the identity belong to? Whom does any identity belong to? Yeah. You say I don't want to identify, and I am not happy that belief is going back to thoughts. 
and there's so many more thoughts here now i don't like it mm. so the one that can get identified is which one the one that's here huh? the one which that's one here. is that <laughs> me the real me yeah which one is that <laughs> <laughs> i think you're not oh, no. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> okay so which one is that just the one that's here i can't say what it is is it the same one or you saying that i run about whole day or something like this no it's not the same one the one that it feels so constricted all throughout the day because it's so scared that it's going to believe thoughts okay and is I... there one who's scared <laughs> <laughs> who's the one who feels scared of thoughts Is the one who has the power of belief. This one yeah. I don't like. <laughs> Which one? This one. This question you don't like, or you don't like the one who has the power of belief? <laughs> the question. <laughs> the question. Good. <laughs> not liking God might not be a great idea. God. <laughs> this is where like something is. <laughs> Nothing is happening. there is one who has the power of belief is there another one who is scared of identification it feels like that there are two i'm going to be very true right yeah, now. Yeah. it feels like that so now let's find out which one is the true one first let's see who has the power of belief okay so the one that is here has the power of belief now who's running scared of this belief i don't want to look at that because because no i must look any time this is a good tip any time we feel like i don't want to look at this in something it's it feels almost like i'm believing thoughts and there's this one that doesn't want to believe thoughts and i give more credit to the one that doesn't want to believe thoughts yes which one is this one that is running scared of thoughts
So the one that does not want to believe thoughts, is that itself not a belief? Can it survive without any belief? No, it can't. So it is the belief itself. It is the sense of this is what one of the subtlest tricks of the mind is. It tries to use even the pointing in satsang as a strategy for itself. So it takes that which is meant to attack the ego as a defense for the ego itself. It's, it's a big, it's a big, like, it's the biggest thing it has thrown you. Because yes. <laughs> that, it's like belief itself is what you can get out of the mind and it itself takes it up and... I see it, Father, but somehow it's not dropped. Like, you know what I'm saying? I see it. I see the mind playing, and but it can just keep playing. And So let's drop now? It's, right now it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> then you can't say it's not dropped. Yeah. Like right now, it's just saying the same thing. Like it would say the beginning when you start something. Like oh, it just starts. And we still fall for this one. <laughs> 